the greatest oh, treasure ring yeah. ever found in America. Wow. Unbelievable, that thing. That is beautiful. That is spectacular, Gary. 22 and a half carat Inca gold with nine flawless emeralds. Wow. What might something like that be worth? Worth a cool three quarters of a million dollars. Oof. Just found on the beach. Yep. Wow. Gary, a spectacular find like that. You must remember that day like yesterday. I'll never forget that day. I was in one of my favorite sites, and I saw that the treasure salvage guys were blowing the sand off the reef really close to shore. Um, but the one thing that I noticed was there was a heck of a lot of shells, and I had a feeling that those guys, you know, they might have blown a treasure coin mm -hmm. close to shore. I start metal detecting within feet. I get a 1694 one real, a silver coin. I'm thinking, oh, it doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> wow. The research paid off, so I was like in heaven. But then when I got to the end of the shell pile, I got the signal. It sounded like a tin can. It was so loud. And I dug. I near, I'll be honest, I nearly gave up. I was thinking, ah, it's just a tin can. And on the last scoop, out pops this fantastic piece of gold-colored metal. And I thought, oh, no. I was disappointed at first. What? I thought it was a champagne bottle top. Right. Yeah, you know, like a champagne That's about the bottle size bale. of it, isn't it? Yeah, like a wire bale. And yeah. I'm like, oh. And I picked up, turned it over. Oh, man, I feel queasy just thinking about it now. <laughs> when I saw that Inca gold and those green emeralds, my knees just turned to jelly. So wait a second, what's Incan treasure, you know, doing on the coast of Florida? Hurricanes, mate. One word, hurricanes. Like the San Miguel, by the mid-18th century, Hundreds of Spanish, French, and Portuguese treasure galleons attempted to navigate their way from South and Central America back to their home nations and their monarchs. A lot of treasure was smuggled. If the manifest said $100 million, it might have had $200 million on it. There was a lot of hidden treasure because they didn't want to pay taxes on it. Jewelry was not taxed at the same rate as bullion by the crown. So they would make jewelry out of everything they could, which is why they would wear 17 pounds of gold on them. They would tax you just like we have them now. Each spring, a fleet of Spanish treasure ships embarked on the often harrowing journey back to Spain. The galleons were heavily fortified against pirates, but had little protection from bad weather. And the storms took a devastating toll. After the 1700s, only one treasure fleet, the 1705 fleet that was laden with treasure, got back to Spain. In 1715, King Philip of Spain found himself in a personal quandary that motivated him to launch a new fleet of ships to bring gold, silver, and jewels back from the New World. So King Philip gave out the word. I need the treasure, because he was married to Isabel, and Isabel wouldn't consummate the marriage unless she got the dowry of jewels. So poor old Philip, he's like, I ain't having any of this. I need that treasure. So he gave the word to set sail. The 1715 fleet consisted of 11 ships, six filled with treasure, while the others were heavily armed in order to protect the precious cargo. And unfortunately, the 1715 fleet, they made it through the Florida Straits, but they were hit by an horrendous hurricane on July the 31st, 1715. The entire fleet and billions of dollars of treasure, including the Queen's jewels, was lost. Today, some 300 years later, this stretch of Florida coastline near Vero Beach is known as the Treasure Coast due to the vast riches that often wash ashore. I knew what this was. This would have been destined for Queen Isabel. It has to be. I, I just could not believe something so beautiful has been rolling around in the surf for 300 years. 
But one thing I do know, this ring is the king of the Bobby Dazzlers. This treasure ring was part of Queen Isabel's dowry. Oh. Wow. Yeah. This was intended for Queen Isabel of Spain. That is pretty cool. She was supposed to wear that ring. Yeah. You got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it must make your wife feel pretty special. Yeah, mm. it did. And my she wife. She ever put it on? Yeah, she did. So instead of going to Queen Isabel of Spain, it went to Queen Jennifer of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Gary. <laughs>